Hi, my name is Dave Brogan, and I'm with Third Generation Jiu-Jitsu. I just want to first welcome you. You're about to embark on an extremely challenging, fun, and ultimately life-altering experience. You will get in incredible shape. You will develop incredible mental fortitude. You will make new friends who will become some of the best friends you'll ever make. And while doing this, you'll be learning the world's most effective form of self-defense. Let's start with some basic ground rules. Your safety and that of your training partners is our utmost priority. In class, when training with our teammates, we are training to fight, but we are not actually fighting. If your training puts you in a position that risks your partner's safety, stop. Winning in class is not important. Having people willing to train with you daily for the next 10 years is. Be aware of size differences. Every training experience with a teammate should be mutually beneficial. That doesn't mean that you treat smaller people with kid gloves, but it does mean that you consider whether what you are doing is placing your team at an increased risk for injury. For example, if you are much bigger than your opponent, that might be a good time to work on your bottom game and allow your teammate to work on top. Be aware of the rules that we train by. In Gi class, we follow the International Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Federation, or IBJJF, rules. Take the time to either review the poster of the permitted techniques hanging at our gym, or review the rules online. Hygiene is important. Wash your gi before every class. Keep your nails trimmed. Stay home if you're sick. No shoes on the mats. If you go to the bathroom, put shoes on. Remember, to remove or tape piercings in jewelry prior to class. No videotaping in the gym. No food in the gym. Leave your ego at the door. Tap early and tap often. You cannot win a practice. If you're caught in a submission, that is your lesson. If you tap late and get hurt, you'll be stuck on the sidelines for anywhere from the next six weeks to the next six months. Don't be afraid to ask questions. BJJ and Judo are not sports like baseball or football that most of us grew up with. It's normal not to know the basic etiquette, techniques, or even the basic rules of our sport. We're here to help. Don't forget to check into class. It's how we track your attendance for promotions. Adult promotions. For Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, adult Brazilian Jiu Jitsu has five belt colors. Each belt color is broken up with four stripes. The belt colors are white, blue, purple, brown, and black. You can expect about a 10 to 12 year journey to your black belt. We have three criteria for promotions. First, minimum number of classes attended. Minimum number of classes attended is your contribution to your teammates. In Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, we cannot train by ourselves. We look ridiculous. We need you to show up to be a good partner for your teammates. That is an objective standard and it will never be shortened for any reason. Second, minimum time and grade. Minimum time and grade is an objective standard, but it is not set in stone. If you win large International Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Federation tournaments, it is possible that you could be promoted at a faster rate than what is normal. Third, subjective opinion of your instructor. Everybody's path to black belt is individual and as your instructor, we're gonna judge your path individually. What we expect from a 50-year-old practitioner walking in the door for the first day with a family, with a job, with pre-existing injuries, with everything else that comes with life, who's only here to get in shape, to meet new friends and learn some self-defense, that's gonna be a completely different standard than our 18-year-old practitioner who has hopes of one day being a professional jiu-jitsu player. Don't ever judge yourself based on anyone else. Your path is yours and yours alone. Adult Judo also has promotions and there's six different belt colors in adult Judo. White, yellow, orange, green, brown, and black. You can expect about a six year journey to get your black belt in Judo. In Judo, the criteria are very similar with the third criteria being different. First, minimum classes, number of classes attended. Again, this is your contribution to your teammates. This will not be shortened. Second, minimum time and grade. For Judo, this actually is pretty set in stone as well. Third, 
Rather than the subjective opinion of your instructor, there is a formal test in judo that includes technique, vocabulary, and history. You will need a United States judo membership in order to be promoted in judo. At this time, membership costs $60 per year. Even if you don't plan on doing judo and only plan on taking our jujitsu classes, USJ membership is still highly recommended as it comes with grappling insurance that will cover any injuries arising from your BJJ or your judo classes. While injuries are far less common in Brazilian jiu-jitsu or judo than with sports like football or soccer, BJJ and judo are contact sports and orthopedic injuries do occasionally occur. And that's it guys. Again, thank you for choosing third generation Brazilian jiu-jitsu and trusting us with your martial arts journey. If we can ever be of assistance, please let us know. See you on the mats.